and today is July 7th, 2016. And this is the tale of the court from hell. So back to Claymont. This is September of 1985, my first course, level one, the sixth class or sixth course on, uh, of, of guitar craft, 16 of us in the class. And I had a roommate. We had roommates at that, well, many places we had roommates, but a roommate, my roommate was Harold Ray from Germany. And um, Harold was a uh, kind of an interesting guy, an interesting musician and so on. And um, at one um, point during the uh, early part of the course, he came up with this chord. And if you can picture the chord, it's on the uh, 12th fret. You bar the uh, first, second, or third string and the, um, the uh, 13th fret, second finger 13th fret, downstroke, extreme, maximum staccato, stop the note. And anyway, that was the chord from hell. I named it the chord from hell. It sounds like the chord from hell. So uh, during the uh, next couple of days, I built a little bit of a, a tune. I'm, I used to think I'm building it. It, it came through me, all right? So this little tune comes through, quote, 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 from hell. And I'm rehearsing it with uh, two fellows, Dion Stewart and another guy that, I'm sorry, I don't remember his name. I don't know his name. I've never seen him again. So i um, love to talk to you about this. So we're practicing this chord from hell piece uh, during the week. It was about a one minute and 23 seconds. I think that was the, that was the, um, uh, the length of the piece. And we went to, um, now we're going to uh, the Iron Rail. Robert booked a, a gig for us. When he booked it for us, he said, um, and if we're lucky, they may turn off the televisions. It was the Iron Rail Bar in um, Charlestown, West Virginia. So um, we get over there. In fact, I'll stick with the quote from Hell story, but when, on, on our drive over there, uh, we're in a little bit of a caravan. There's three or four cars. And I'm driving, and Robert's in the passenger seat. As we're getting into town, this very large tractor trailer comes by. And I said, oh, good, the amps are here. And he just gives me that look again, you know, like. And that's it, all right? But I thought it was a pretty good line. So we're in the green room, and the place is crazy. Robert is the number one heckler out there. And um, people are, you know, the performers are coming back in. They're all like, what is going on? Things were being thrown, yelling and screaming and so forth. So the two fellows I'm with, Dion and this other guy, and I don't remember who started this, uh, but, but they said, we're not, we're not, we're not going on. And um, the, the tune is too weird. It's too strange. And we're not, we're just not going on. And I thought, well, I said this to him. I said, well, I'm going on with or without you. I'm playing this piece. And I said, and I said to them, you know, I know why you don't want to go on. Robert's in the audience. He's the chief heckler. But this is the guy that brought 21st century schizoid man into the world. Do you think there's anything that can surprise him? Anything? And both guys said, you're right. Let's go on. So I, um, I can, <laughs> that was my way. So we went on and, ah. Uh, we're playing the piece, and again, it's only a minute and 23 seconds. And at the end, as we hit the chord from hell, there's actually choreography in there. We all back up like this, and we did it in time and so forth. And um, stop the piece, and a roar comes out. It wasn't a big audience, but a roar comes out. And here's Robert. I'm looking to my right. Here's Robert, standing ovation from Robert Fripp. Standing ovation. <laughs> And I'm telling you, something in my mind went click. <laughs> I said, wait, holy shit, a, a, a standing ovation from Robert Fripp? What? Anyway, that changed my life at that moment. There, there we are. So um, more on the following day. I'm going to uh, tell you what happened the next morning. But that was our experience with, um, with Court from Hell. Changed everything for me. That's it.